Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. As you can see, I am at the Grand Master. I'm taking a break. I just started um, like an hour, about an hour and a half ago, and I've done one path, you know, uh, so that makes two total. You know, I did my initial completion. Today, I've done one path, and this is the second path for today. But we're not going to do the Grandmaster fight. This is an arena results video. But I wanted to show you guys, I'm just taking some time out to uh, make this video. And then I'm going to go right back in there after that Grandmaster. And you saw the team that I went in there with. Um, Hit Monkey is awesome for the Grandmaster because he's fast. Okay, I loved fighting the Grandmaster with Hit Monkey. Doom, also a very good option. And Tanky. When we got down to um, uh, 1%, oh, man, that was awesome. Uh, I just uh, went in with Doom, no problem. One try, and that was it, okay? But anyway, so let's go over here to the arenas, Muskrain Arena. And you can already see I already did the T4 Basic a long time ago. Uh, didn't do any of these. I'm enjoying my day, you know, just slow playing it going through didn't do any arena today at all uh but we have archangel in the featured arena and odin in the basic arena and between the two i would say odin might have been just a bit more uh desired uh archangel is not new his six star is but odin with those pre-fights a lot of people want him because the five star and the six star their pre-fight strengths are different. The six star is much better than the five star. So there is a reason, you know, a lot of times there's not really a reason you can go in with your five or the four as long as you have the synergy. But these pre-fights, you want the six star if you can get them, all right? So let's take a look. I did not go for either champion. Um, I have them both as five stars and I have Archangel as a six star already. So let's go ahead over here. All right. And and I got Archangel. We're going to take a look at the score that I put up over there. I, I You see how, how close I am. So I am very, very close to the cutoff. All right. But let's first go into the Odin, who probably had the more hype to him, this arena. And it's probably why Archangel may have gone a little bit lower than he would have otherwise because a lot of people were going for odin all right so let's take a look and see if we recognize any names uh wanja congratulations on that six star odin all right let's see who else went for this odin and those pre-fights coat hanger congratulations awesome 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 all right we see him, folks, that we recognize up in here. Oh, man. It's going to be a while before I go for a six-star in the featured. I'll tell you that. ID Slim, congratulations, my friend. All right, let's see. Karate Mike got that six-star. Oh, nice, nice. Very curious as to what score you guys put up. I can't even imagine. Pika Pika, congratulations. Brandon. Congratulations, man. Lots of people I know, and that's why I know that there was hype. A lot of people I know were talking about Odin and, and that they wanted to go for Odin. Uh, I don't know if um, Brian Grant went for Odin. Uh, I know he was talking about it, but he may not have uh, gone for him. He might be waiting for round two. Uh, no, he didn't go for him because he has a friend uh, that's visiting. That's right. Uh, Dynamics. Congratulations. So he might go for him uh, round two. Dahish, congratulations on that six-star Odin. That's what's up, man. I was tempted to go for him in the crystals, just, you know, for, for no reason. Uh, ben Riley, congratulations. All right, we're getting down to the end here. And that is it. Maestro. You are the last person to pick up the six-star, Odin. 
congratulations. I don't know you, but congratulations. Now, let's take a look at who is Mr. or Mrs. 101. Oh, no. Relentless grinds. I don't like seeing that, man. I'm so sorry about that. Let me know what score you put up. I'm very curious at uh, the scores Odin went for because there was so much hype around him. Uh, people were, you know, just for the pre-fights. That's what they want, them pre-fights, and they're worth it. So, ah, uh, I hate to see that, but let me know. Let me know what score you put up and uh, whether you use units because, oh, my goodness. Minnow, 2K. Sorry to see that, man. Oh, and KT1 missed? He probably did a, a, a leisurely grind, maybe a unitless grind. Uh, I don't know, because he has a huge roster, uh, much larger than mine. A lot of the grinds he does, he doesn't even use all his five stars. And some of them he just uses his six stars. That's it. So I don't know. In this arena, I know that the six stars don't give you more points than five stars. That could have affected it, but there's still a lot more champs to throw at uh, this arena. But I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm very curious. People, leave comments. Let me know what scores you put up. SCCP. Oh, I hate to see that, man. Sorry to see that. But now down here, they may have been going for the five star. The 101 to 110, somewhere around there, they were probably going for the six star. But... These guys may have just been going for the five star. So congratulations on your five star and condolences if you were going for the uh, six star. Oh, man. I really need to find out what the uh, what the cutoffs are. All right. And if anybody knows, feel free to leave a comment and let me know what the cutoff was. But that's the top 200. Top 100 gets the six-star champion. Uh, 101 to 500 get the five-star. So let's now take a look at the Archangel Arena, the featured arena that I slipped in there and got a five-star Archangel. That's the score I put up, and I stopped. I actually thought I was going to be well under the five-star cutoff, but it looks like I'm real close to the cutoff. He may have gone for 31 million or just, you know, above 30 million. That's going to be interesting, but, you know, I'm, I'm about as close as I, I know of anyway. Uh, so, wow. Uh, I already have him. He's ranked five. You know, um, let's take a look here. Uh, congrats, uh, the Bearded Gamer, number one. Uh, fun fact, uh, my five star was my first rank four, five star Archangel was my first rank four and he was not awakened. He does not need to be awakened. He is usable unawakened. Samuel, congratulations. However, if you need his utility shutting down uh, nodes like nobody's business, then he needs to be awakened. But he still has all that crazy damage. Ribbon the Rock, congratulations. Uh, and I got him, and I'm not spoiling a video because that video has been out already. If you missed it, I'm sorry. Catch up on the uh, crystal openings. But I pulled a six-star Archangel before this arena. And I was just laughing because he, he wasn't on my most wanted. You know, I, I finally took my five star to rank five uh, for the gauntlet, which was an event that had dropped uh, not that long ago. And when I got the six star, I was happy to get the six star. Black Gamer, congratulations. Uh, definitely happy to get the six star. But. You know, I had the five star rank five, you know, dark side. Hmm. <sighs> Sorry, 
every time I see his name, it just, man. Anyway, uh, if you know, you know. All right. Um, didn't see anybody else uh, that I recognize so far. And there we go. So that is the top 100. Uh, Cooks is the last one to get a six-star Archangel for this arena, round one. So let's see who is Mr. or Mrs. 101. Okay, good. It's not somebody I recognize. I, I hate seeing people I recognize right there. Uh, but Quando, you still have my condolences. All right, let's take a look here. Okay. See if we recognize any names. Some of these names I, I've seen on the leaderboards before, but I don't know them. I haven't talked to them, you know, on a personal level. Sammy APG, were you going for the six star? Or are you happy with the five star? Congratulations on the five star. My condolences if you were trying to get that six star. Because the six star is going to go. I, I know he went up there. I know he went high. Uh, I was watching um, Lefty Knox. Yes, if you're watching this, I was watching you, uh, Lefty Knox. And uh, I was watching you on the TV, so I couldn't actually chat. But I was actually uh, on there live. And I remember your cutoff predictions. And it almost made me get up, come over to my computer, so that I could uh, chat to you. Because... It's very rare that we see those kinds of uh, scores that you were talking about. I think you mentioned like 80 million for the six star. Uh, it's very rare that we see that these days. Now, it might have been because of the Odin, you know, uh, grind that people weren't, you know, uh, doing what they normally would here. So it may have lowered the cutoffs because of the Odin. But normally, even an older champion, but one that's really good, like Archangel, it's going to be around 100 million or more, you know, and we'll, we'll just see. But like I said, the Odin uh, arena may have affected this one. Now, for people who got Odin, the six star, and they also wanted Archangel, they may now be grinding in round two. So whatever the cutoff is, don't rely on that because that cutoff may be lower because a whole bunch of people were grinding round one. So don't be surprised if the score jumps a lot. It may not. It may stay the same. Uh, but anyway, that is the top 200. Uh, 100, top 100, get the six-star champion. 101 to 500, get the five-star champion. And my Archangel is not... Uh, Max Sig, I don't believe. I stopped at like 130, 160, something like that. So I, I believe this will put 20 more Sig levels on him. Not that it matters, um, but, you know, it is what it is. At least there's something, you know. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And I'm going to get back to that Grandmaster. And you all have a blessed day.